Hi, everyone, and welcome to my series on mastering Notion. This series is designed to help you understand and make the most of Notion, whether you're a complete beginner or you're just looking to improve your skills. Over the next set of videos, I'll cover everything from setting up your workspace to more advanced features like linking databases and collaboration tools. In this first video, I'll introduce you to Notion, what it is, and its most basic features. If you enjoy this video and want to see more tutorials in this series, don't forget to subscribe. So what is Notion? Well, Notion is an all-in-one workspace that combines note-taking, project management, and data organization. It blends elements of word processors, spreadsheets, and database management systems into a single platform. Think of it as a digital notebook where you can write down your thoughts, track your projects, and store all of your important information in one place. Notion's flexibility makes it a powerful tool for various tasks. You can use Notion for a variety of tasks like personal productivity, team collaboration, and creating knowledge bases. For personal productivity, it can help you manage your to-do lists, set reminders, and just plan your day. For team collaboration, Notion offers shared workspaces where everyone can contribute and stay on the same page. It's also great for creating knowledge bases where you can organize and access all of your important documents and information. What makes Notion stand out though is its ability to adapt to many different workflows. You can start with a simple note or task list and gradually build more complex setups as you become more familiar with the tool. Whether you're a student organizing your study notes, a professional managing multiple projects, or a team looking to collaborate effectively, Notion has something to offer. Let's now take a quick tour of Notion's interface. You can also access Notion using a web browser, and there are also desktop apps available for both Mac and Windows. So let's start with the main components. First, we have the sidebar. This is your navigation hub. This sidebar helps you move between different pages and workspaces effortlessly. On the left, you'll find your list of workspaces and pages. You can collapse or expand this list to save space or quickly access what you need. At the top of the sidebar, you'll see a search bar that helps you quickly find any page or content within your workspace. Below that, there are links to your favorite pages for easy access. Let's now take a look at the main workspace. This is the central area where all your content creation happens. It's a blank canvas where you can add pages, databases, and blocks. The main workspace is highly customizable, allowing you to drag and drop blocks to arrange your content exactly how you want it. You can also switch between different views, such as list, table, board, calendar, and gallery, depending on how you want to display your information. Now here we have the top bar. At the top of the screen, you'll find the top bar, which provides access to various tools and settings. The top bar includes a search function where you can quickly find anything in your workspace. You also have notifications where you can keep track of updates and changes made by your team members. We also have settings where you can access your account settings, workspace settings, and different integrations. And also we have a help function where you can find resources and support if you need assistance using Notion. By becoming more familiar with these components, you can navigate Notion more efficiently and make the most out of its features. Now, let's dive into some of the key features that make Notion so powerful. Let's start with pages and documents. Everything in Notion starts with a page. Pages are the foundation of Notion where you can create, store, and organize your information. You can create a new page from scratch, or you can use a pre-existing template. Let's create a basic page. Now, let's talk about blocks. Notion uses blocks to build content. Blocks are flexible units of content that can be anything from text, images, and to-do lists, to complex databases and embeds. You can add a block by simply typing a slash followed by the type of block you want to add. Let's add a text block and a to-do list to a page. Now, these are just a few of some of the blocks that Notion offers. Uh, in later videos, we'll go into more detail on what blocks actually are and the different types. Now, Notion also provides a variety of templates to help you get started quickly with common setups. 
Templates are pre-configured pages that you can use as a starting point and customize to fit your needs. Here's how to pick and apply a template. Here you can go to the sidebar and click on template. This is where you can find a variety of different templates to suit your needs. There are project management templates, personal productivity templates, team collaboration templates, you name it. If you can think of it, there's probably a template for it. Now let's quickly talk about database views. Notion allows you to create databases that can be viewed in different formats, like tables, boards, lists, calendars, and galleries. This flexibility lets you display and interact with your data in the way that makes the most sense for your workflow. Here we have a table view, which is most ideal for spreadsheets and any kind of data that fits in a table. We also have board view, which is great for this Kanban style project management. We also have list view, which is very simple and creates a linear list of items. There's also a calendar view, which is perfect for scheduling and timeline planning. And then finally, we also have a gallery view, which is really good for visual display of items with images or cards. Notion's powerful features enable you to create a highly customized and efficient workspace that adapts to any of your needs. To recap, we covered the basics of Notion, including its interface and some key features like pages, blocks, and templates. This is just the beginning. In this series, we'll dive deeper into all of the tools and techniques that go into making Notion such a powerful platform. We'll guide you through setting up your first Notion workspace, organizing your pages, using databases, and much more. Each video is designed to build on the last, helping you grow from a beginner to a proficient Notion user. Make sure to check out the next video in this series, where we will explore how to set up your first Notion workspace.